Yeah, I think that, you know, there, you know, for thousands of years, people have made the observation that there's certain kinds of extreme depressive states that seem to be more likely to produce philosophers, people in the arts, uh, unusually brilliant scientists. And modern studies, a lot of modern studies have borne that out, that there is a disproportionate rate of mood disorders, of <coughs> depression and bipolar disorder in highly creative groups uh, in the arts, sciences, and so forth. Um, I think that that's a real phenomenon. I think that the changes that go on in the brain when people are mildly manic, the experiences of the extreme states, the kind of experiences that people then go on to write and create about, um, all of those things, you know, I think are reasonably well documented. It's, it's controversial, but it's, you know, actually the studies are, are almost all in the same direction. There's, that doesn't get away from the fact that these people, a lot of these people who are highly creative, also had very miserable lives. And I try and point this out when people start romanticizing um, mental illness, is that, you know, Byron and Van Gogh, you know, wanted to be treated. Byron traveled with doctors. Van Gogh admitted himself finally to the hospital. They, they were in agony and pain and, and, and suffering. So it's, it's not a romantic life. It may look romantic from the outside, but if you read their letters and uh, their correspondence with friends, you know, it's, it's not anything wonderful. And many of them died young by suicide. And the rate of suicide is also way disproportionately high in, in these uh, highly creative groups. And so the last thing you want is people dying young, or dying prematurely in, in any event. So I don't think it has to be a choice between being creative and being on medication. In this day and age, we've got a lot of a wide variety of medications and psychotherapies, and people are kept at much lower doses than they used to be. I mean, it used to be in the early days of lithium, people were really tanked up on lithium, so that, you know, I think it really did have an effect. Mm -hmm.